Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Allah will not look at this kind of woman. It is reported that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Allah will not look at that kind of woman who does not thank her husband, although she depends on him. First, find out that a family relationship with a woman and a man is one of the best mercies of Allah Almighty to his slaves. Because in this case, you can acquire millions of good deeds. You can also be aware of million sins. Every Muslim should remember his responsibilities to his family, to her husband and his wife. Indeed, married life in Islam occupies an important place because Allah Almighty said, and one of his signs is that he created for you spouses from your service so that you may find comfort in them and he has placed it between you compassion surely. And these are signs for people who reflect. Quran Surah Ar-Rum Your spouses are a garment for you you as you are for them. Allah knows that you are deceiving yourselves, so He has accepted your repentance and pardoned you. Hafiz Ibn Qasir said, There is no greater love and sympathy between two souls than love and sympathy between spouses. One of the gravest sins in Islam is not the submission of wife to her husband. However, maybe you can tell me why you always talk about the obligation of the wife to husband and never talk the obligation of husband to the wife. We will definitely make a number of videos about family relationships, inshallah. Follow the channel and do not miss new videos about family relationships in Islam, duties, dignity and reward for family affairs. And in this video, we will talk about one sin. If a woman does it, then Allah will not look at her. So, it's obligatory for every Muslim woman to know her husband's right to her and to pay tribute to him, realizing that the great Allah obligated her to do this, saying, Men are the caretakers of women, as men have been provisioned by Allah over women and tasked with supporting them financially. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said in relation to this verse, that is, men are rules over women, and women obey them in what Allah has commanded, and her obedience to his husband also includes a good attitude toward his family and thrifty attitude toward his property. And the sin that will talk about this is a manifestation of ingratitude to the husband for the benefits he provides. But we Muslims often do not pay attention to this. We are in fact not grateful people. In the whole matter, we must first thank Allah Almighty, thank for everything he had given to us in our life. And then every man and every woman should thank each other for what they do with each other and help each other in all matters, especially women about whom the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, reminded us all of a lot. This is one of the worst and common qualities of all women, except those to whom Allah has shown great mercy. According to Abdullah ibn Amr, may Allah be pleased with him, it is reported that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Allah will not look at that woman who does not thank her husband. Also, she depends on him. Narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, I was shown that hellfire and that the majority of its dealers were women who were ungrateful. It was asked, do they disbelieve in Allah or are they ungrateful to Allah? He replied, they are ungrateful to their husbands, are ungrateful for the favors and the good done to them. If you have always been good to one of them and then she says something in you, she will say, I have never received any good from you. Note how the Prophet answered the question why many of the women are inhabitants of hell. He saw, he said that they showed ingratitude for the benefits they were given. The words those who have shown unbelief mean unbelief associated with gratitude and not unbelief associated with unbelief in matters of Iman. Imam Ibn Hajar on Hadith said, most of the inhabitants of hell are women. He said, the reason for this is that they do not obey Allah, his messenger, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him and their husbands. And also, often 
often dress up when leaving home, exposing people to temptation. Abdurrahman ibn Shibal, may Allah be pleased with him, told, One day, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Indeed, the wicked are the inhabitants of hell. He was asked, O Messenger of Allah, who are this? He replied, A woman. He was asked, O Messenger of Allah, are not our mothers, sister, and wives women? He replied, Of course. However, we're talking about those who, when you give them, they do not think, and when they are tested, they do not show patience. Holy Allah, how many women fall under this description? Said more than 1,400 years ago by the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. And how can righteous Muslim women not think about this hadith and avoid these bad qualities so as not to be among the inhabitants of hell? You wonder, what gives us if we are grateful and we will be among the women who are the best before Allah and we will be among the women who are the best for Allah, and they are those who are submissive to Allah and to their husbands, and they are grateful and they are righteous. Muhsinat, a few of these advantages. According to Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, it is reported that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, If a woman performs five prayers, fasts during Ramadan, keeps her chastity, and obeys her husband, then she will be told enter paradise through the gates that you wish and truly a righteous wife is the best thing in this world it was narrated from abdullah ibn amr that the messenger of allah blessing and peace of allah be upon him said this world is temporary joys and the best temporary joy of this world is righteous wife narrated by muslim imam abdul abbas al qurtubi said about this hadith such a woman is righteous in her religion and in relation to herself, who also brings her husband's position into order. And truly, a righteous wife is a better than wells. According to Abu Umama, may Allah be pleased with him, it is reported that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, a grateful heart, a tongue that remembers Allah, and a righteous wife who will help you in the affairs of this world and in religion, is a better than and people you save up. A grateful heart, a tongue that remembers Allah, and a righteous woman who will help you in the affairs of this world and in religion is better than what people save up.